What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. The truth. So this is going to be my first time actually sitting down and talking in front of the camera. As you can see, we are not, um, we are in a hotel. I am not currently in my house because we had a fire at my house, unfortunately. Everything's okay. Everything's great. Ryan started the fire. Ryan started the fire! So in this video, I'm going to share a little bit about my experience, how I got recruited to play Division I volleyball. I'm also going to give some advice on how to be successful at the Division I level. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So to start off, I was not primarily a volleyball player first starting out. All throughout my childhood, I played football and baseball. I also played tennis, track. Um, I played a little bit of soccer. Um, what else did I do? Football, soccer, baseball, tennis, track. Oh, and I was a gymnast for a year and a half. Um, <clears throat> so, volleyball really came late in my life. I started playing volleyball my senior year of high school. Um, so I was around 17, 18 years old. That was around the time my sister picked up volleyball. She was 14. Um, I used to go with her to practice and watch her practice, uh, watch them play at their tournaments and such. And I was like, oh, I think I could play that sport. Looks relatively easy. So um, I would actually go outside and pepper with my sister a lot. And then one day before her practice, we were peppering and her coaches approached me and they were like, hey, do you play anywhere? I was like, no because obviously I didn't. Um, and right then and there, they offered me a job to start coaching so I could learn the fundamentals of the game. Shortly after, I had went on a big search for boys clubs in the Florida area. There aren't many of them. I think there are three in my area of Fort Lauderdale. Um, so I ended up getting hooked up with MVP Academy, which is my former club where I played my 18s year. I played middle for them. Um, outside and right side. Um, back then I was not very good. So, yeah, when it was time to get recruited, I had film of me playing middle, and a lot of schools were just like, yeah, you're not really what we're looking for. Yeah, I got a lot of that. So going in, into my second season of 18, so this is winter going into summer season, sorry, spring season, I got a lot better at passing and a, a lot better at defense. I was able to play six rotations as a middle, um, which was very unusual, obviously. So that opened a couple more coaches' eyes. I ended up getting looked at by Alderson Broadus University and King University after reaching out to those two schools. Um, and King University was really interested in having me. They wanted, they really wanted me. I came on an official visit. They flew me out to North Carolina, um, and then I we drove to Bristol, Tennessee and I got to see the school, spend the night, practice with the team and everything. And then Alderson Broadus ended up giving me a lot more money, so that's where I ended up having to go. A couple words of advice as far as recruiting. Email everyone, because you don't know who's looking for what. You don't know the need for players unless you reach out. Second, be honest, be upfront, be you, um, because that's very important in the recruiting process. Coaches want to really get to know who they're going to be bringing in and accepting into their program. Um, and lastly, when you commit, get ready to put in some work because hard work is going to pay off. I can strongly attest to that. I was not the greatest volleyball player when I was first in college, but 
I put in the work and I was able to work my way into a starting spot. I did really well at Alderson Broadus my first two years. I was able to, I was recruited there as an outside hitter and then I was switched to Libero and I became the starting Libero there for those two years, 2016, 2017. And after that, I ended up transferring to Sacred Heart University. The coach really liked me over there and they had a really good stud Libero, Josh Eisenberg. Um, he's now playing pro in Israel and he thought I would be a good fit to fill that role. So. I ended up transferring. I did really well there too, my last three years of school. To add, Sacred Heart competes in the EIBA with schools like Penn State, George Mason, NJIT, St. Francis, St. Francis Brooklyn, Princeton, Harvard, and University of Charleston. I was a two-time all-conference, all the IBA libero. Um, I was runner-up for libero of the year, three-time defender of the night, um, two-time defender of the week, um, what else? I was also selected to the USA Men's Collegiate National Team. So a lot of good things came from my last three years at Sacred Heart. I wouldn't trade it for the world. All right, so now on to the tips of how to be successful at the Division One level. First, you have to be willing to put in the work. I cannot stress this enough because that jump in skill from 18th year into freshman year of college um, can be very challenging for some people. I know some people really do a great job at, and it's the transition is really easy, but a lot of people struggle. It was challenging for me. I mean, I hadn't had much experience um, at a high level to begin with, so me jumping into uh, college ball, it was very difficult for me, but I was willing to put in the work I stayed Longer after practice, I got to practice early for more reps. Um, I did what I had to do to see my time on the court and, and reap the benefits of hard work. So that's the first tip, be willing to put in the work. Second tip is time management. This is probably the most important in your entire college career because, well, for example, I was a biology major and we had six hours plus of outside work besides our lectures and labs. So time management was vitally important in between practices, in between lifts, in between um, film sessions. I was either studying or doing some sort of homework or lab work for my bio major. You gotta sleep, you gotta eat, you gotta do your homework, and you gotta practice, obviously. So manage your time well, make a schedule. Get yourself a, an alarm clock. Write everything down. It's gonna be important. And my last tip, have fun with it. College goes by so fast. I remember when I was first moving into my freshman dorm at Alderson Broadus University. Um, and I remember my last day, which is a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago, in May, um, for my graduation from college, so. Savor all of the memories and all of the friendships that you've made in college and, and really hold on to those. Thanks for watching.